Hello all, my name is Christopher Panero, and this is my video for week four, uh, the assignment being the uh, program pathway. So the pathway I'm in is in the intermediate standard intern teaching pathway. Uh, I've already got a position, so I will be getting compensated for my work. The course names and numbers that I will have to take, uh, starting of course with this semester, I'm in EDU 62030 and 62040A, which is Professional Learning and Practice and Educational Foundations. Uh, then beginning in August, I'll be in 62280, the Content, Knowledge, and Instructional Practice 1, and 62460, which is Clinical Practice 1. Starting in October, it'll be 62120B, Content, Knowledge, and Instructional Practice 2, and 62470, the Clinical Practice 2. Starting in January, 62630, the Content, Knowledge, and Instructional Practice 3, and 62480, the Clinical Practice 3. Starting in March, 62050, Content, Knowledge, Instructional Practice 4, and 62490, Clinical Practice 4. Starting in April, 71710, Educational Technology, and 76220, the Critical Thinking for Teachers. In June, it'll be 76860, the Introduction to Research, and 62340, which is Content Knowledge and Instructional Practice 5. Uh, then in August, 76910, Research in Action. And then after that, October of 2024, 64990, Advanced Mentoring as Needed. Hopefully not needed that much, but if it is, that's fine. Which courses require me to have placement and complete clinical practice hours? Well, that would be clinical practice one, two, three, and four. All four of them have a very similar requirement and need me to complete all of those as well. Um, how many clinical practice hours must be completed in each of these courses to stay on track? It is 198 hours for each of the four programs. Uh, on those hours, 150 Day-to-day -day requirements, so your day-to-day -day job as a teacher will be covered in that 150 hours, which you break it down. That only roughly comes up to less than, um, oh shoot, I forgot to do the math, um, 20, 20 days, eight-hour days, 20 days will more than clear that requirement. You need 36 hours of additional support and 12 hours of English learner-specific support as well. And all of those, of course, will be Mounted up. Of course, you'll have five hours a week on observation, six times a semester, since I'm on a semester program, not a quarterly program. Or actually, no, I am on a quarterly program, so it'll be four times a quarter, not six times a semester. Uh, per the CTC, how many formal evaluations must be completed during the program? In the student teaching pathway and the intern pathway, they will both be done during clinical practice three and four. And as I mentioned, I already mentioned how many times, five hours a week four times a quarter. And uh, what happens if these aren't completed? Well, if these formal assessments are not completed, uh, then they will prevent the student from advancing and putting them off track for an on-time completion. So you don't finish your clinical practice without these formal evaluations. Um, so it just puts you further behind. And since I'm already finishing in October of 2024, I don't want to go any further because uh, with an intern, I, I have a few years to do my intern or to work on an intern credential that needs a real thing. So I don't want to put it off any longer. But if I get off track, what's my backup plan? Well, if I ever get off track, my plan is to speak to my placement lead, my employer, and my credential analyst at Alliant and through my employer to get myself back on track. So if I miss a class and it's going to put me back, I need to be able to, to communicate that with everybody. I need to be able to uh, come up with a plan that works for my employer, that works for me, works with my time, and fits into school schedules because, um, of course, if I if I miss it, I'm going to have to repeat class or repeat a course, a you know, course section, and then that would put me behind and on a different pathway as well. Uh, I'll have to make sure I can still complete it before my intern eligibility runs out. Right now, I'm currently on a STIP program um, as I got the job before I started this program and obviously don't have my intern credential yet, so I'm on a STIP program. That's a once-in-a-lifetime thing, so it's not something I can go back to if my credential runs out. So. I have to make sure I can fit it within that window. Finally, what is successful successful completion of my program looks like? Um, hopefully in October of 2024, I'll be graduating Alliant International University with my MAE and my California Teaching Credential for Social Sciences, uh, a single subject, I should say, credential. Um, and then I'll become a fully licensed teacher with a master's, 
I'll be able to enjoy my career. I'll get my pay bonus, my stipend, and I'll be able to just spread my knowledge for, to students for years to come and not have to worry about catching up on schooling or doing more uh, necessary education as I will have already completed all of that by October of 2024. Thank you for listening to my paper. Uh, hopefully this um, answers all the questions. I believe it did. I kind of wrote them down, so I hope I didn't mess it up too badly. Um, but that's where I'm at. And hopefully October 2024, I'll be looking back at this video and going, yes, you made it.